Namaste, everybody. Yeah, I'm back. <laughs> okay, this is an art gallery video. I'll try to be fast. Um, because I just have a couple of pieces that um, some people were asking about. And I be until I do the art gallery time, I would like to... See, this music uh, is kind of hurting my head, so I don't know. Maybe I'll put it listening to PTSD music. Anyway, um, yeah, so before I try to, like, sell some of my stuff, I try to, um, put it up on the old art gallery time. So I have the mermaids out with their candles. Got a sunflower over here. We got, uh, Tatiana over here. I don't know why I want to call her Tatiana. <laughs> Just made that up. We got my shells under here in the sand. We were playing with with Harmony yesterday. Anyway, um, we got a selenite holder right here, which I love from DC. Anyhow, okay, so the first painting that I have up, I'm so proud of it. I love it because I shellacked it and it's called Atlantis. Okay. Now, Atlantis is based on a mermaid card. And I'm going to read that card to you. But before I do, I don't want to bore you, but um, this, I've been staring at this picture. Because I, what I do is I make a copy of the picture of the card. And then I made a copy on my printer. And then I also bring it to a store um, and get a copy made okay so I might have to blow one of my candles out because I'm going to put my phone on fire okay so the reason one of the reasons why I like this is because I took a wooden piece of white wood that I bought in Michaels and um, I usually don't like to do blue because blue is not um, sold that much I don't know why but I had to do blue I was thinking about purple that would have worked too but I'm you know uh, I do a lot of purple so I was having a little trouble with my thyroid so I think that's why the blue came out and then I just picked blue rocks I painted the string blue I shellacked this many times I shellacked the picture and I just was staring at it because she's got the hair that I want black with the purple and her, it's Atlantis the card is Atlantis so I couldn't name her something else I was going to call her Atlanta but that's different from Atlantis which is the underground um, underground living under the ocean okay and it's really I'm very proud of it it took me a long time because I had to paint all the starfishes and I had to shellac and I, I had to do I did powder blue sand which you see right here it's real sand um, and then more glitter because after I did the sand a lot of the sand just fell off and went into the garbage and then I had to redo with some glitter to make it three di three dimensional and pop so did all that now I'm going to read you what it says about it and hopefully it'll resonate with somebody and just hold up a second hold up so I'll, I'll set you down you can't see it there you could see it better if I do that oh oh all right that's the best I'm gonna get Sorry. <laughs> okay. That's the best I'm going to get it. Okay. Anyhow, let me look for it. Okay. Give me a second. Yeah, it's an actual card. See? It's actual one of my mermaid cards. That really hit me. So just give me a second. I'm trying to find... 
the actual card. I know I should have had this all out, but I'm not organized. I didn't even know I was going to come on. I'm supposed to be at the nail shop. I'm supposed to be cleaning bathrooms and at the nail shop. But that doesn't look like it's happening. Oh, here it is. Thank you. Thank you, God. And is there a number? 19. Yeah, so just try to absorb it. Be, go into the buildings here. Feel her strength and energy and her good nature. Okay. I promise you it's coming right now. Okay. So what this means, and according to the card, is message, rapid development, excellence, success. The mermaids sing. We are a golden moment in time. So much is changing so quickly. Humans are awakening the planet at, at the point of having a time. One second. <laughs> I couldn't even hear my own head think. Okay, sorry about that. So, um, humans are awakening the planet at the point of having ta a time that is at once peaceful and exciting, dynamic and comforting. It could be a time of greatness in your life, but you will need courage. Yes, that's very true. And the desire for power over must be shifted to power too. The more you know and are connected to the divine that you are divine itself, the more you will behave in ways that are divine. When you lose that connection, that belief, when you view yourselves as merely impermanent, meaningless, and players on a stage, tempor temporary witnesses, then the golden time can vanish. Keep the vision alive. It's time to shrink, to strike that balance between selflessness and the actualized self who is operating out of love and not hubris. Okay? I don't read the reversals and just also with the divination of this uh, card and meaning of this painting, um, a feeling of connection to crystals, to sea creatures, to being able to heal and work with people telepathically, an urgent desire to do something more meaningful with your life, past life memories as an uh, Atlantean or even a dolphin. Uh, or other sea creature can be surfacing, learning to swim, dive, mermaid, scuba dive, and desire to be beneath the waves. Get your mermaid on, get your merman on, get your dolphin on. Um, learning to swim, dive, mermaid, scuba dive, and a desire to, beneath, to be beneath the waves. Connection to an ancient sacred sites. Feelings of bliss, connection, and higher powers and abilities returning to you. A sense of being at one with the angels and animals and wizards and all. A wonderful variety of being in your life to have of beings in your life who have so much in common with you. Okay, I screwed that up. A wonderful, I got to get hooked on phonics. A wonderful variety of beings in your life who have so much in common with you. Greater powers of communication, less fear, and feeling that you have great abilities and fearlessly exploring them, perhaps for the time first time in this lifetime not being so concerned with making a mistake a sharpening of abilities an appreciation of science the desire to experiment and develop abilities the astonishment of seeing how quickly you can advance flow high vibrations sophistication logic and brilliance are heightened okay and so like when you're rejecting this power in yourself and um, maybe you're being attracted to the beach, you're being attracted to water in general, even just your bathtub or your shower. Um, if, you're, if you're refusing to accept this in yourself, you can have like an epic realization that 
um, you need to start to communicate and set the tone of what you want in your life and how you want to be in your life. Um, because if you just put yourself down and say, no, I can't have that. I would like that, but I can't have that. Um, then you are taken away from yourself. And so this is Atlantis. And it says rapid development, excellence or success. And don't you feel the success when you look at this picture? I do. Okay. So that's this one. And you definitely, there's definitely, um, plenty of areas that you could touch. These are shells. These are colored shells. And so, um, you could touch these shells. You could touch the canvas. It's been shellacked so many times. It's wood. The whole thing is solid wood. So if you want to ground yourself, it's very good to ground yourself. See, it's wood. Okay. So let me know if you're interested in Atlantis. Next up is, give me a second. Not all of them will be long, guys. Trust and believe, not all of them. This you saw yesterday. Okay. <laughs> um, because some, some people ask me about this one when I did Harmony. And um, what I have to say is I didn't even do the... I didn't even introduce it, so I wanted to introduce it first before, I, you know... I want you to tell, I want to tell you the story of it. Sorry, guys, I'm sorry. I need a sip, sip of coffee. Sorry, I had to ha have a sip of coffee. Okay, I think that's a good view of it, even though you can't see the smoke now, but <sighs> it's okay. All right, so I did this, of course, because I love Harmony, and this picture is an uh, angel card that has to do with, you know what? Let me get it. Let me get it. I don't know if I can find it that fast, but... It was definitely an angel card. And I got kind of like obsessed, like low key obsessed with it. So don't be mad. Let me just put you down. Um, let me just see if I could find it. And just basically. Oh, okay. They just told me don't, don't look for it. Tell just talk about what it means to me and so that's what I'll do okay guys see sometimes the angels they just tell me what to do and you got to listen if you don't listen nothing bad will happen but it's just that it's already 13 minutes in and I just wanted to do a quick show you um, because some people were asking me about this because I showed it yesterday and I I just love it I have it on Facebook um, all right so I had made, you guys remember, I had made Harmony in in green and pink, right? But something was off. I knew I wanted to do green because I was trying to pick up the green in the background. And this is basically, I feel like, I mean, you see the pearls and stuff? And these are that shell again, but painted pink. Something told me I had to just do pink. And then I went to Michael's and I, I had found these flowers that were light pink and dark pink. And they just happened to go with the shells. Exactly. The dark pink went exactly with the shells. Anyway, that makes some a difference to me. Um, but when I was doing this painting originally for Harmony, she, she shows me that this is the place where she feels peaceful and she is, this is Harmony's place. And first, I was going to say Harmony's heaven. 
but I was like, that's too cliche. So this is Harmony's place um, that you will find her. And she has a harp, you know, that's the harp. And she's literally wanted to be older. So she's like 12 in my mind's eye. She's like 11, 12. Anyway, they get to be whatever age they want. And, um, in heaven. So, um, I, I knew when I was making the original Harmony 1.0 that, um, I had green and then I had white around it. And then I said, I gotta maybe put a light green. So I did a, um, what's it called? Pistachio green around it, but I didn't like it. I, I liked the dark green because it was rich and it was healing and it was full of forgiveness. And that's what Harmony is. She's full of forgiveness for the people that hurt her in her, li her short life. Um, so I decided that she needed the green goes with the green chakra, the heart chakra. And um, the other color that goes with heart chakra is pink. So I did the edges pink and then I put pink glitter around it and I felt satisfied with it. And then... Um, uh, so then that one was gone. And so I made this one and I have another one that's just white. Um, cause uh, I'm waiting to hear about a color. I don't have to do it now. I can always do it after my vacation. Anyway. Um, so this is not just one pink. This is like maybe three different pinks, but I wanted to make sure the white came through this time. Whereas the green came through in the other one. And so I got the white pearls that are mixed with glitter, which I love. It's like glitter and stars and pearls and this little plastic effervescent color that picks up all different colors. I think you could see it. It's right here. And, um, you know, the pink shells that I did later on and the flowers I did right away. But the color paint that's here is a neon pink so it's like a glow in the dark pink not that it actually gl glows in the dark maybe if I put it near the light it would glow in the dark more it probably would um but I don't sit he here in the dark but I wanted the aspect of light that she sees to come through and I know that sounds a little bit crazy um you know, and some people say, well, maybe she's still alive. Yeah, maybe she's still alive. But um, just in my mind's eye and when I speak to her spirit guides and I speak to my spirit guides, this is where I see her. Okay, so Harmony's place is up. So let me know if you're interested in it. I know somebody did, um, two people asked me about it. Okay, so next up, and as you could see, I cleaned up my table, but now I got a little bit of a mess, but that's just because I'm going to be putting it away. I'm going to hang it back up, but I just wanted to do this quick little bit. This is, you guys know, this is Olivia. Now, isn't there anybody that likes flamingos or loves flamingos? She's, Olivia is surrounded by flamingos. Olivia, I found a picture in a, was it a catalog or a calendar? I think a calendar that somebody sent me. And uh, I just loved it. And I was like, I don't know if anybody else will love her as much as I love her. And I didn't know her name. So I was painting and painting and painting. And I had to get this special color. Um, so I, I had to mix a few different colors together. Fuchsia to make the pink flamingos pop and her hair but when I looked at her face I was like oh my god Devin look this is your daughter this is my stepdaughter she looks like my stepdaughter my stepdaughter has like kind of an olive complexion olive to pale complexion depending on if she got sun and she has brown eyes and like a nice straight nose and this looks like her profile. And she has dark hair when she doesn't dye it blonde. <laughs> she has like kind of a naturally all burn hair. But she usually dyes it blonde or black. Anyhow. 
Um, so I'm working on it. I was like, boom, I got the name for this canvas, Olivia. And um, that same night when I was finishing up with this, um, Olivia got into a car accident, very serious car accident. But thank God the angels surrounded her. She had a concussion. Um, it was, uh, she got a big gash and cut to a head. And she's also a nurse. So she went to the hospital where she works at in New Jersey. So this is Olivia. And what chakra is it good for? I forgot to tell you, um, Harmony's place is good for your heart chakra. And also crown chakra because the light is coming through it. Um, and Atlantis is very good for your throat chakra and has some purple. So I would say third eye as well. This is good for um, <laughs> Kundalini chakra. Okay. Because um, she just can't help being sexy. Sexy devil. Um, well, it's mostly a, a version of pink and red that I mix together. So I would say your red root chakra, your red root chakra, and your sacral chakra. Because it has to do with your um, kundalini. And you don't know what that means. You got you to gotta do your own research, people. Okay. So let me know if you're interested in Olivia. Anybody out there that's interested in or knows somebody that loves pink flamingos. They would love Olivia. And 